Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on how to draw up insulin. Now the first thing that we need to know is always wash your hands and use aseptic technique. And for insulin, we use specific insulin syringes. And the reason is that insulin dosages or units of insulin are very, very small amounts. So we need to have a specific syringe that will allow us to visualize the amount of insulin that we're going to draw up. So right away, you can see that the syringe will tell you that it is an insulin syringe. And if I open it up, you can see that the units here are very, very small. This uh, particular syringe holds a total of 0.5 milliliters and a total of 50 units of insulin. So just in case you needed to administer more than 50 units, you would have to use a different syringe that will allow you to draw up up to 100 usually. Theoretically, you could use two syringes. Let's say you needed 78, you can do 50 in one and 28 in the other, but we don't want to poke the patient twice and cause any discomfort. So always make sure you pick the right size syringe. And then I'm just going to place this back here and put on my gloves. Insulin dosages or vials are usually multi-dose vials. They are kept in the refrigerator after they've been opened at the facility. So as always, I want to clean the um, rubber part, the rubber stopper of the insulin for about 10 to 15 seconds vigorously so that any contaminants that are sitting there will be removed. And as with any amount or with any medication or medication vial, we always want to insert the amount of air first that we're going to withdraw. In this case, I'm going to draw up 10 units of regular insulin, which it tells me on here. Always make sure to check the vial for the expiration date as well. And of course that you have the right medication. So then here I'm going to put the plunger back to where I have the 10 units. When I uncapped this particular syringe, you can see that the needle is tiny um, and it's also very thin. So you have to be careful not to move it to the side because you can really bend the needle quite a bit here. So then I'm going to insert the needle here, push in the air, turn it around and withdraw the 10 units. Now insulin can sometimes be tricky because we're dealing with such minor amounts, we cannot have any air bubbles in there because then we're at risk of having the wrong dose. So an air bubble could easily take up the space of one unit of insulin and then we don't have the correct dose. In this case, I was lucky, I didn't get any air bubbles. So I'm going to push the plunger back to the 10 units six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, double checking. Typically you need a second nurse to verify your dosage. So you would leave the needle in the vial and have somebody else verify it. They say yes, and then you're okay to use it. As with any medication, we need to um, be very careful when we recap the needle. In this case, we cannot change the needle from drawing up to administering the medication. So recap in here, we have to be extra careful. Otherwise, if we poke ourselves, we might inadvertently administer insulin and become hypoglycemic ourselves. So the one-handed recapping technique, put your non-dominant hand behind your back so that you're not tempted to use it. Slide it on here very carefully and then use some other object to help you get the cap back in place. And then I would go ahead and take my handy dandy tape note um, what medication I have in there, note what time I prepared it, and also um, the patient's information. You can then label it in such a way that it's easily visible and that you can still see how much insulin you've drawn up and then you're ready to go administer your medication. Thanks for watching this video on regular insulin administration or just one type of insulin administration. 
And please also watch the other video that I have about mixing insulins. Thanks for watching. See you soon.